It's my great honor to announce that we have successfully completed negotiations on a brand new deal to terminate and replace NAFTA and the NAFTA trade agreements with an incredible new U.S. Mexico Canada agreement called U.S. MCA. It sort of just works. MCA. U.S. MCA. And that'll be the name, I guess, that 99 percent of the time we'll be hearing. U.S. MCA has a good ring to it. I have long contended that NAFTA was perhaps the worst trade deal ever made. Since NAFTA's adoption, the United States racked up trade deficits totaling more than $2 trillion. And it's a much higher number than that. With Canada and Mexico, it lost vast amounts of money and lost 4.1 million manufacturing jobs and one in four auto jobs. It lost about 25 percent of our auto jobs, even more than that. Throughout the campaign, I promised to renegotiate NAFTA, and today we have kept that promise. But for 25 years as a civilian, as a businessman, I used to say, how could anybody have signed a deal like NAFTA? And I watched New England and so many other places where I was. Uh, just the factories were leaving, the jobs were leaving, people were being fired, and uh, we can't have that. So we have negotiated this new agreement based on the principle of fairness and reciprocity. To me, it's the most important word in trade, because we've been treated so unfairly by so many nations all over the world, and we're changing that. We just signed a much better deal with South Korea. We had a horrible, horrible deal, and we just signed that at United Nations, and that's worked out well, and they're happy, we're happy. It's good for jobs, good for a lot of things. When that deal was signed, they said 250,000 jobs will be given be by signing this transaction, and they were right. I've said it before, they were right. 250,000 jobs to South Korea, not to the United States. So that's changed, and very much for the better, and this one is a brand new deal. The agreement will govern nearly $1.2 trillion in trade, which makes it the biggest trade deal in the United States history. I want to congratulate U.S. Trade Representative Bob Lighthizer, who has worked. Nobody understands how hard he's worked. No matter when you called him, he was in the office, or he was in somebody else's office doing the same thing. Hey, Bob Lighthizer is great. I've heard it for years. I said, if I ever do this, I want to get Lighthizer to represent us, because he felt the way I did. And the entire team at the USTR standing behind me, and some right here in the audience. I want to thank you all. Fantastic job. Peter Navarro, everybody. Thank you all. Thank you. Fantastic group of people. They love our country. I also want to thank Secretary Mnuchin, Secretary Ross, Secretary Nielsen, Secretary Perdue, Jared Kushner, Peter Navarro, and the United States Ambassador to Canada, Kelly Kraft. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. I also want to thank President Peña Nieto of Mexico, who we had a few disagreements, but I really like him a lot. I think he may like me, I'm not sure. But I think he's a terrific person, and he'll be leaving uh, soon. But he's really done a good job and wonderful, wonderful person. And the Mexican president-elect, Lopez Obrador, who has given his support to this agreement, and we're developing a really good relationship, which I think is very important for our country, frankly, and for Mexico. And uh, so they worked together on this. This was done by both. I said, look, I don't want to sign an agreement. And then a new president comes in. They don't like it, and we have difficulty. Uh, they worked very much together on it, and I appreciate it from both. Uh, I have to certainly give my highest regards to Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Uh, a lot of stories came out about uh, Justin and I uh, having difficulty together, and we did over the trade deal. But I'll tell you, it's turned out to be a very, very good deal for both. 
and a very, very good deal for all three. It puts us in a position that we've never been in before. It's very good when you look at the world and what the world is doing and what — when you look at the unfair trade practices that countries are using against the United States. Uh, this is a terrific deal for all of us. Once approved by Congress, this new deal will be the most modern, up-to-date, and balanced trade agreement in the history of our country, with the most advanced protections for workers ever developed. If you look at the reviews, people that would normally not, under any circumstances, say good things, because automatically they have to say bad. Even some Democrats say that's amazing. We had some they, — they haven't been given the sound bites yet, I guess, Mike. But Actually, you had some Democrats say, this is really amazing if he really got all of that. But by uh, tomorrow, I would suspect they'll change their tune. But that's okay, because people know how good it is. It's an amazing deal for a lot of people. Likewise, it will be the most advanced trade deal in the world with ambitious provisions on the digital economy, patents — very important — financial services and other areas where the United States has a strong competitive advantage. Mexico and Canada have agreed to strong new labor protections, environmental protections, and new protections for intellectual property. So important. This new deal is an especially great victory for our farmers. Our farmers have gone through a lot over the last 15 years. They've been taken advantage of by everybody. Prices have gone way down. And we're working on some other deals that are going to make them very happy also. But this is a very, very big deal for our farmers. Uh, Mexico and Canada will be opened up a lot more than they are now. And I think there'll be a better spirit between the three countries, which is important for our farmers. The agreement will give our farmers and ranchers far greater access to sell American-grown produce in Mexico and in Canada. The deal includes a substantial increase in our farmers' opportunities to export American wheat, poultry, eggs, and dairy, including milk, butter, cheese, yogurt, and ice cream, to name a few. I want to be very specific. Yeah.